Good evening, YMCA family. I'm Jennifer, and I am so glad that you are here tonight for some yoga. So exciting news, of course, phase two, the Ys are starting to reopen. And so hopefully you were able to visit today. Maybe you got a little workout in, maybe you got a little, little swimming in. So whatever you did, or maybe you just drove by and you're making plans to get to the Y uh, sometime in the next couple of days. Uh, whatever your plans are, we are very excited to see you guys in person and we cannot wait to do that. Uh, speaking of which, when I get to see you guys in person, I got you all some stickers and it says Stronger Together because we are all indeed stronger together. So can't wait to see you. But for right now, tonight, we're gonna do a little yoga, a little stretching. So I'm gonna take my stickers, I'm gonna scoot back towards my mat. go and we're going to have a nice easy gentle session tonight because it's friday you made it through your week and uh i'm going to go ahead and just decompress a little bit start your weekend off right and get you into the zone so that you can breathe and just just relax right elevate the mood endorse all those endorphins and be ready for your lovely lovely weekend ahead so what do you need here today? Of course you need a nice mat, right? Um, this will come as a huge surprise to you, right? You need a band or a strap or something you can use to stretch your hammies with. And uh, maybe a little bit, a little bit of water if you need some just to have nearby, right? And we're set. So easy, easy open space. Wherever you are is great, right? Let's lift up tall. Right, long lifted, lengthened posture, shoulders over hips. Let's just breathe. So inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, full breath out. Move that breath through the body, continue. Bringing in that oxygen so that it can be sent out to all of your cells. Using those lungs to their fullest capacity. And excellent. So still breathing deeply as we start to move and stretch and bend. Let's just gently here drop the chin to the chest. and lift that chin up to the sky. Excellent, back to the center. Take that head, turn it to the side, look out over a shoulder, and bring it through the middle, turn to the other side. Excellent, back to the center, very nice. Take an ear over to a shoulder, just get a little bit of length there through the side of the neck. And as you do so, let's go ahead and gently drop both hands to the floor. Just a little dip there. Hands to the knees, head lifted, and then other side. So ear drops. As you're ready, both hands to the floor. and up nice and tall very nice give those shoulders a couple of rolls inhale scoop up exhale back and down and we'll take a few more loosen up that upper body and maybe one more time scoop it and release it lovely take those hands on around behind you park your hands here on your lower back so we've just got those palms there nice and flat take your elbows squeeze your elbows together and lift up that chin looking up to the sky feeling your heart center reach forward maybe feeling your ribs poke forward and excellent slide the hands to the knees and then scoop and round seated cat stretch down we go and lift up. We'll do that once again and let's add on the slumping swami. So drop it down, chin to the chest. 
we'll give ourselves a little twist to one side. So keep the roundness, but just twist to one side. Good, hands to the knees, lift up tall. And we'll try the other side, so lifty, lifty. Scoop and round. Rotate, other side, slumping swami. Good. Back we go. Lift tall to the top. Very nice. Upper body, go ahead and just shake it out. Wiggle, wiggle. And let's work on your obliques. So I'm gonna park my right hand over here on the floor beside me and we're gonna use the breath. So as a vinyasa, inhale, scoop and extend. Exhale, drop and reach. So we'll just keep those hips grounded on the floor and we'll take a few of these, same side. Inhale and exhale, slide that right hand out, drop it over. Good, take a few more. lovely when you finish that first side let's go ahead and swap it out to that second side so inhale reach and extend exhale drop and reach continue Maybe one more. And as you finish, we'll go ahead and bring both arms down. Very nice. Let's give ourselves just a little gentle twist to the right. And to the left. Fantastic. Back to the center. Release those legs. We're just going to flop those feet open. Let's go ahead and push the heels forward out in front of you. Nice, easy, open position. Drop your nose down into starfish so that head just comes right on down towards those feet. Round through the back, round through the shoulders, breathe at the bottom. Roll it up, scoop to the top. Let's grab a hold of those ankles. Pull those heels in closer to the body. They don't have to come in super far. Lift up tall and then same thing. Chin, nose, head, drop it down towards your feet. Excellent. Roll it up, nice and tall. Draw those knees together. Let's grab a hold of those thighs and just lift up. Find your balance, find your center, close your eyes perhaps. Feeling that middle. And lovely, down we go. How about a little rock the baby today? So I'm gonna send my left leg forward and take my right ankle and park it here on top of that left quad. So once we're there, we're gonna push those hands to the mat, lift up tall, nice straight spine, ears extended, there's our Danda Asana. Little variation, good, good. Beautiful, spine is straight, remember this feeling. We're gonna reach forward here, reach down, pick up that leg, and just pull it into the body. You can wrap your arms around it, you can hang on to it as much as you would like, but let's find that lifted posture once again. Straight spine. And then from here, we can just gently rock the baby side to side. Little movement there into that glute. Good 
Good job. Bring it on back to the center. Go ahead and lower that leg down. Sit up tall once again. Hopefully you still have that lovely posture. Beautiful. While you're here, let's go ahead and just take those toes, point the toes, pull the toes back, and flex the foot. Good. Once again, toes point, toes come back, and dorsiflexion of the ankle. Lovely. While you're here, still roll that ankle around, make some circles. You can even use your hand to help guide those circles around. Opposite direction. Very nice. Relax that foot, sit up tall. Let's go ahead and curl everything up here, right? So I'm just gonna roll that right foot to the floor, pulling up that knee to the sky. Left toes, we're just gonna bring them back here beside that hip, right? So we just pull the legs in. Lifting tall, there's that lovely, lovely posture. Give yourself that rotation to the right. So just a lovely spinal twist. Come on back to the center, modify as you need to. But since our knees are here, let's go ahead and maybe just stack them on top of each other and drop your nose into hero. Stellar. Scoop it up to the top. Take those arms out and up. Inhale, reach and lift. Exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze the elbows back, lift the chin, shoulder blades squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And excellent, reach tall and float the arms down. Good, very nice. Untangle the legs, let's work on the other side. So right leg reaches forward, left ankle, cross it here on top of that right quad. Let's sit up into that nice Danda Asana. There we go, lift, lift. Beautiful, reach down, pick up that lower leg as you would like to, pull it into the body, and then slowly rock the baby. Nice movement into that left hip, that left glute. Good, to the center, lower down. Lift up tall, and let's just point and flex that left foot. So a little pointing, rolling back through the toes, flexing the foot. We'll take a few more. Go ahead and point the toes. Toes back, dorsiflexion of the ankle, and then let's make those nice circles. Big, slow rotation, assisting if you would like with that hand, both directions. Good job. Once you're there, that ankle's relaxed, roll that left foot to the floor. We sit up tall, very nice. Take that right heel and just pull it back. There we go. Legs still on either side of the body, rotation to the left. Good job. Come on back to the center and just let that left knee flop down wherever it flops is fantastic. Hips on that mat, chin and nose over into hero. Lovely. Good job. Scoop up tall one more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open up that chest, look to the sky, spread those fingers out and away from each other. And reach and press. Down we go. Good job. Untangle those legs. 
And we'll go ahead and I'm going to turn to the side here, bring those guys forward. So we did that nice balance. Let's see if we can't find our balancing lotus. Reach your hands here underneath those lower legs and just pick those feet up, up off the floor. Hang out here, balancing lotus, close your eyes maybe. And lovely, relax. Feet to the mat, park those hands here behind you. Go ahead and just maybe duck walk those feet out towards the edges of your mat. And we're gonna flop both knees over to the side. Pick a side, doesn't matter which. I'm gonna flop them there to the side, open up your chest, and lift your chin just a little bit. Good. Up and over through the center to the other side, flop those knees down, open the chest, lift the chin. Good. Knees come up. Go ahead and bring those guys back together. And we're gonna slowly here round down onto your backs. So make sure you've got enough space. Down we go onto that mat. And let's move right into a panasana. Slide your hands here over that right shin, stretch your left leg down and out along your mat. In fact, flex both feet. So both feet, both heels reaching forward, hugging that right leg into your body. Pull it in. And we'll engage the core. So curl up the head, look down at those left toes and lift up that left leg. Squeeze. But breathe, remember to breathe. Good. Down we go. We'll relax the feet and we'll just swap out the apanasana. So right leg reaches out, left leg hugs in, flex that left foot, flex that right foot. There we go. Energy reaching through those heels. Breathe in and then curl it up, hover the right leg. Excellent. Good job, guys. Down we go, back to that mat. We'll go ahead and place that left foot on the floor, and we're gonna bend the right knee and place that right foot on the floor as well. So both knees are bent, both feet are flat, and there is a bridge coming your way. So hands down to the floor. We're just gonna lift up, we're gonna hold it today. So palms face down, take that breath, inhale, and then exhale, drive up those hips. Good. Let's stay at the top and let's just breathe through the feet. So inhale, lift the heels off the floor. Exhale, lower them down. Take a couple of these. When your heels next come down, take a breath at the top. Roll through the spine, down to the floor. Tail bones release at the bottom. Good. Duck walk your feet together. I'm going to go ahead and lose my little purple socks here, right? So we're going to do the same thing, but let's see if we can't try it on one leg, right? Hands still on the mat. Take a breath. Let's go ahead and reach the right leg up to the sky, if you can, right? Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, press up into our bridge. And same thing, as you're ready, inhale, lift the left heel. Exhale, lower the left heel. Take a couple of these and just breathe. When you're ready, both feet on the floor, roll down, take a breath, and we'll try the other side. So perhaps left leg up to the sky, inhale, breathe in, exhale, 
up we go, and then roll through that right foot. Breathe. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Rolling down, once you finish, fantastic. Hugging both knees into the chest, scooping yourselves up, big hug, big squeeze. And release it. Lovely, both arms out to the side, T position. How about a little revolved abdomen twist today? We're gonna flop both knees towards me, whichever direction that is. And then we'll extend both legs out. Maybe you can grab those feet with your hand. Let's lift your chin to the sky. Or maybe you can roll that head in the opposite direction of your feet. Fantastic. Release. Bend those knees. Roll to the center. Give everything a little rock. Just a little wiggle there. And then we'll do the revolved abdomen twist on the opposite side. So knees flop and straighten out those legs as best you can out into that, that opposite hand. Bend those knees, roll to the center. We've got that little rock. Always the rock gives us a chance to check in, see how we're doing. And then lovely, we are ready here. Setting that left foot on the floor, picking up your strap, your towel, your band, whatever you have, and then pushing that right leg to the sky, pulling those right toes back towards your forehead. There we go, our nice, long, sustained hamstring stretch. This is the best part of your Friday. Good job, guys. Breathe, inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Take a few of these. Reach up with that right hand. Go ahead and grab that strap and adjust your right hand. And then that right leg dips out to the side. And thigh stretch. Good, good. Release, release that band, release that right leg. We'll go ahead and just untangle that right leg. Bring that ankle up on top of that left quad and we'll just give it a little through the hole pose here. So those hands are down and around behind that left thigh. We pull everything in. Lowering that left leg to the floor, and we're just going to give it another little spinal twist. Take that right knee, push it over on top of the left, and both knees gently flop to the right. So just a little angle there. Good. 
and up we go to the top. Very nice. Uncross those legs and let's go ahead and move on to that second side. So strap, towel around that left foot, left leg to the sky, hammy stretch. Good. Work the pose. Continue to breathe here. The longer we stay, the longer that left leg has a chance to become longer. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, transfer that strap as you breathe out into that left hand, open that left leg, inner thigh stretch. that left leg. Go ahead and just allow that left ankle to rest on top of that right quad and we'll find our through the hole pose. There we go. Pull those legs inward. And that one twist here. So slide that left knee on top of the right and flop both knees to the left. Get that little twist. And excellent. To the top. Untangle and then gently here just reach on down, grab a thigh and we will use it to come on up to the top. Nice and easy. Good job. Both legs forward. Let's give them a little, a little shake. We just want to make sure that the knees are loose. And we'll take that breath. Inhale, scoop. Reach to the sky. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Nose comes down towards those shins. And then we will scoop, round and roll up to the top. Very nice. Still keep those knees nice and loose. Take your hands behind you. Let's interlace the fingers. Open up that chest. Look up, lift up. And we're going to hinge forward once again. You're not going to be able to go very far, and that is perfectly fine. If you like, you can bend the knees. Bend the knees a little bit. So lift up and hinge forward. Take those arms back and lift them up-ish. Fantastic. Lift up, release, bring those hands forward and just wiggle out your wrists. Fantastic. Flip over here, hands and knees, hands and knees, however you'd like to get there is great. We're going to flip over, we're going to work your spine a little bit. So, I know that you have been lifted up nice and tall today. So we're going to initiate the movement. We're going to move through cat and cow, but I want you to initiate the movement today from the center of the spine. So here we are, neutral position. As we start to scoop ourselves up into cat, we're going to relax the head and the tailbone at the same time while the center portion of your spine drives upward. So breathe in and then center of the spine initiates and drives the movement up. There's our cat. So same thing, center of the spine drives the movement as we lower it down and lift up into cow. Good. 
take your time moving from the center portion of your spinal column. Inhale up into cat. And then exhale into cow. Good. Take a few of these. Use that center section of the spine. ourselves back to the middle. Very nice. Release and relax that with just a little wagging of the tail in the puppy. Take yourself from side to side. And take your hips with you if you like. Center. We're going to make our way down onto our tummy. So to do that, let's first lift up to down dog. I, I know I promised no standing today, but just one down dog. That's it. Tuck up your toes. Lift to down dog. Pause here. Good stretch. And then we come forward into plank. Squeeze in that tummy. And we're going to lower down through our hovering forelimb staff pose. So inhale at the top. Exhale. Come on down and hover. Then release down, release the toes, bringing that body to the mat, of course. Hands stay just underneath the shoulders. Curl up into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Up, 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 and release it. So relax your derriere for just a moment. Slide your hands forward so my hands are definitely ahead of my shoulders. And then I'm gonna rotate my fingertips towards each other, right? So I look like a bit of a bulldog here. Those fingertips are facing towards each other. And we're gonna lift up into, make sure those tops of the feet are on the mat and your derriere squeezes before we lift up into a seal. So it's the same thing. We're not pressing our elbows all the way up to the sky, but we're lifting here into seal. Chin is up. Derriers are tight. Good. Maybe you can press up a little bit more. If you would like, straighten out the left elbow and look to the right. Looking back towards your right foot. You don't have to straighten the elbows all the way. Coming back into our seal position. Heads coming forward and then turning to the left. The right elbow straightens a little bit and we make sure we keep that head turning left. Good. To the center, back to seal. Release it down. Float those hands behind you, palms to the sky. Lift up. Float on your tummy in Flying Cobra. Good job. Release to the mat. Bring those hands up here underneath you. Press up and back and stretch into Velocina. Good. Let's give that spine a nice Nice bit of roundness, stretch, drop that head down, widen your knees maybe, come on down. You can always make fists with your hands. Bring that head down to that fist that's on top. Fantastic. Up we go, up to our nice thunderbolt position. Take a moment here, and then we're just gonna come back to hands and knees. Very nice. So, 
We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring your right foot forward, but I'm gonna flip around so that I can still see you, right? So here we are, right foot comes forward to a nice kneeling position. We're just gonna lift up into monkey. So find your balance, lift up, reach to the sky, little backwards bend there, looking upward, inhale, and then let's just exhale, come forward, chest to that thigh, arms floating back. Good, do it again. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good, up we go to the top, maybe a little arch once again. And open the arms. Now I'm gonna have to swing my left leg back a little bit as I rotate here into a nice, a nice kneeling position for our archer pose. Just a nice kneeling archer. So that right knee headed out over those right toes, looking forward, long arms. Good, drop back to a reverse warrior. Come forward into archer, float that right arm down towards the floor while that left arm reaches up. Good, up we go into archer, rotate, hands to the mat, Swing that leg back and find your hands and knees. Nice, scoop it round, cat stretch. Flatten to release. And then we're gonna bring that left foot forward. So I'm flipping, there we go. Take that left foot, bring it forward between your hands. Nice, lovely, balanced, steady position. And then let's just lift up into warrior or our kneeling warrior or our monkey here and then hinge forward arms float back chest comes down to that thigh scoop and lift inhale and exhale much energy inhale exhale Inhale, and exhale. Lovely, up we go, reach it tall, open the arms, and I'm gonna bring that right leg back a little bit, and then we sink here, right? There's our archer pose. We're just kneeling today. So there's our archer, energy and length. Drop back, reverse warrior. Back to archer. Maybe then we can drop down a little triangle here. Good, and archer. Reach out, lots of energy, and relax it down. Step yourselves back to hands and knees. Good, excellent. Rounded up cat stretch. Flatten it out, neutral spine. And we're gonna tuck up those toes. I know, I know, one more down dog, right? So <laughs> there's our down dog. We're gonna walk the hands and the feet closer together. Duck walk those feet out towards the edges of your mat. And let's just have a seat, sink down into garland pose. You can drop those glutes down as far as they'll go. Bring your hands to your heart at Namaste. And here's our garland. All right, if you have short Achilles, right back here, right? I do. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to widen those feet a little bit. Nice. 
hands to the mat, press yourselves up. Go ahead and duck walk those feet in underneath you. Technically, we're still not standing. Bend your knees. This time, let the heels come off the floor. And let's find your balance in Namaste. So here, if you're feeling fancy, close your eyes. Bringing those hands back down to the mat. Good balance, right? Step it back, hands and knees, so that you can have a seat. Have a seat here on your mat, comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. We're just gonna work your back, your shoulders a bit more before yoga nidra. So scoop those arms out, inhale tall, exhale, bend the elbows. There's that big open. Good, bring the elbows together, very nice. So we're gonna give it some eagle arms. Take your right elbow, stack it on top of the left. Go ahead and wind up those arms as best you can, and then turn the head to the right. Maybe we can get into that shoulder blade. Nice. Untangle those eagle arms, take those guys out and up. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, down we go. Elbows come in. This time, left elbow on top of the right. Wind up those arms. And once you're comfy, maybe that head turns to the left. To the center, untangle, one more big swoop, inhale up, and exhale down. We're gonna take one more forward fold here. So legs in a comfortable cross-legged position. You can even bring them forward, right, into butterfly, or if you'd like, find a fire log pose. Whatever's good for you, walk your hands out, drop your nose down. In and up we go. If you are in any kind of cross-legged position, let's just change up legs. If you are out in starfish, you come right back on down. Fantastic. Up to the top, untangle those legs, and then let's just come on down onto your mats for Yoga Nidra. You come on down, you snuggle in for the most important portion of our session. So, pillows, blankies, sweatshirts, maybe you'd even like to turn the lights off, right? But you snuggle down onto your mat into your most comfortable position and we are going to make sure that your bodies are relaxed for some quiet time. Excellent. So you are here in your space, on your mat, breathing. Right? In fact, let's go ahead and maybe bring your right hand to your tummy and float your left hand up to your chest. And as you relax on your backs, feel the breath move through the body. Let's go ahead and feel that tummy rise. Feel that chest rise. Feel that collarbone lift. And then feel that breath melt from the body, allowing you to then take the next breath. So just make it a gentle breath. It's not deliberate and deep. Right here, the breath is just moving through the body. Inhale and exhale. 
exhale, feel the breath with those hands. And then from that breath, still breathing, let's go ahead and just make sure that all of your body parts are soft and easy. You can leave the hands there if you wish or relocate them. But let's go ahead and soften up through the body, letting go through the feet, softening up through the lower legs. You are easy through the knees. Soften up through the thighs and the hips. Letting go through your trunk, through your torso. And let's go ahead and just gently melt down and out the length of both arms. Both arms just melt down into the floor. No tension in the fingertips. Letting go even through your fingernails. And then maybe here, we can just carefully turn that head and neck from side to side. Letting your head find an easy space in which to rest. And then with that next exhalation, whenever that is, let go, soften any bits of the body that are still holding any tension, and just allow that body to melt down into the floor. Gentle, supported in your space, but relaxed. The breath still continues through the body. You're not controlling it. You are just observing the breath. Watch, feel, and listen as your body breathes. And then from the breath, Let's come inward to the mind. Just find that quiet, easy space where you're always soft, gentle, serene. Let's relax in this space and enjoy a few moments of solitude. slowly and gently let's make your way back into your space and back into that breath 
So as you breathe, we want to work to deepen the breath. So complete breath in. Full breath out. And maybe you can bring your hands back to your body again. So right hand to the tummy, left hand to the chest. Feel that breath. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale, breathe in, chest rises. Tummy expands first. And exhale, collarbone, chest, and tummy. One more deep breath, tummy, chest, collarbone, Exhaling, collarbone, chest, and tummy. Good job. Continue to breathe. Maybe here, you can wiggle those body parts around. You can stay here right where you are and breathe. You might like to maybe stretch out or even gently make your way onto your side for just another wee little bit. As you settle into that new space, let's go ahead and perhaps make your way up to a seated position. We'll just bring your hands to your lap or to your knees, close your eyes, and come inward for a final moment of quiet, thinking about your own uplifting idea, thought, prayer, or just a moment of silence. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. Shanti means peace. Om Shanti to you. Thank you so much for being here with me this evening. I appreciate it, although I cannot wait to see you all in person again. So remember, you get a, get a sticker when I see you, right? We are all stronger together. So in the meantime, do keep up with the WISE social media pages, the website to see what classes you can sign up for or when you can go get a lane um, in the pool so you can go get some laps in or even when you can go upstairs and work out. So the Y, we are all very excited to see you all in person and I know you guys are excited to see us too. So take care in the meantime. Have a lovely weekend. Get your vitamin D, hydrate, wash your paws. We'll see you all soon. Namaste. Hi guys, I'm Jennifer. This is Montag. We are all stronger together, although he's being a little bit shy tonight. So cannot wait to see you guys in person. And Montag, of course, is always here to remind you to go wash your little paws. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.